that night? I didn't say that, old chap. Well, you haven't said much about anything, have you? Well, perhaps it's because you give me little that's worthy of commenting upon. I would have thought an attempted murder would be worthy of your comments. And as far as me not giving you anything, it's really not a problem because in this situation, you're the one who's supposed to give, my friend. You know, if I, if I understood you correctly, I'm not being formally charged with anything. Uh, not yet. Not yet, at any rate. But I would like to know where you were the night the attempt was made on Mason's life. I'm very, I'm very sorry. I, I'm just going to have to say that. Uh, I'm quite amazed how inept you are at this. Mr. Uh, you are pushing your luck with me. Really, don't do it. You're pushing my luck? Uh-huh. I mean, okay, do I, do I need to remind you that I don't have an attorney present? So, just between you and me, what if I confess that I've butchered half the people in Santa Barbara right now that wouldn't even stand up in a court of law? Now, you may have time to waste, but I most certainly don't. I didn't... Look at me. I didn't say you could leave. Look, Castillo, I want you to hear me. I don't take orders from you. I want an answer. Where were you the night the attempt was made oh, on Mason's life? You want an answer? Uh -huh. You want an answer? Uh -huh. How about a question first? Now, do you honestly think we're so stupid as to try and kill Mason, knowing that the dirty finger of the law would be pointed at us because of the accusations we made against him? Hmm? Well, I don't know how stupid you are. That's what I'm trying I to find out. I put up with your wife. Nosing into my past, I will not put up with any more of these stupid questions. Listen to me. I think one of you is responsible for the attempt on his life. I'm going to find out which one. If it turns out to have been you, my friend, you're going to pay. You understand? Oh, yes. Yes, Chris. I understand. Now, I want you to understand me. You take your hands off me right now. Take them off. Or I'll hit you with that harassment charge so fast. I'll see you take that badge and shove it down your throat. Do you understand me, old chap? Right now. Huh? Absolutely, Dirk. Thank you. I heard what happened. This was on the table on the other side of the bed. So, you didn't have to come all the way down here just to bring me this, you know? I wasn't sure. About what? Whether you left it there on purpose or you just forgot it. <laughs> you know, believe it or not, I can get through the day without this. Amazing as it may seem. No, I, I just... You just I what, just... baby? You, you actually didn't come down here to give me this? What, what then? I came down to make sure you were all right. Are you? I don't know. Tell me what's wrong. I wish I knew. Me too. I just grabbed Derek. I... I had him. I was afraid to throw him up against the wall and punch his lights out, you know? What did he do? He was, uh, rude. You know, and I, I feel this anger in me now for some reason. It's like building up and I can barely manage it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm afraid I may, uh, do something bad. You have a right to be angry. You've had a lot of stress in your life. You, there's a reason for well, why you're short-tempered. Darling, I'm talking about something that goes a little deeper than that. Well, sweetheart, look what's happened in the past year. What, what with Kirk coming after you, or the two men who tried to kill you in France. Ah. Uh, you don't really think that's it, otherwise you wouldn't have come down here. Well, I mean, like I said, I mean... What do you think about this stone? I mean, you bring this stone to Paris, all of a sudden you become much more volatile. You realize I... I didn't want to upset you. That's the last thing I You didn't wanted. upset me. I want to help you somehow. I, I know. do. Well, I don't know what you can do, you know? I don't know what, what it is, except... 
Maybe it does have something to do with that stone. You said you didn't believe that. Well, I don't. I laughed it off from the beginning, but the man who gave it to me obviously took it very seriously. He chose me for some reason to take that responsibility. It's something sacred to him. I didn't ask for it. I don't want it. But I seem to be stuck with it. And I guess I feel like I owe him something. What do you owe him? You explained to him that you weren't interested. Well, I tried, but in his eyes, in the eyes of the tribe, you know, the Sakit, the people I supposedly represent now, you, you can't turn down becoming the shaman. It's not a, an optional position. It's just a fact of life. I've got these people looking to me now for some kind of guidance and, and authority, and uh, I can't be there for them. Obviously, I can't. Maybe you need to talk to somebody. Maybe they're not going to listen to me. Once he made the choice, once I was the man, I'm the man. No, I mean, maybe you need to talk to a professional. What? Well, there are a lot of people, you know, a lot of friends who've had some stress in their life. They work on the force, and you could simply just sit down and, and are you talk. Are serious? Yes. With, with, with the stress that you've been I going we, through. I we just and agreed with, this is not about stress, though, right? Cruz, there are psychiatrists that you can talk uh -huh. to. Just take a and minute. And you don't you think take, that I can handle chance, it? Is that it? You don't I'm not saying that you can't handle it. Well, I, I do think I can handle it. And I don't need a psychiatrist. I need to be able to talk to you about it. I thought I could, really, without you misunderstanding. Cruz. I guess I was wrong. Jeez.